I can only hope that that is actually doing what it's supposed to do. Okay. Good. Yep. All right. So think back to being around 15 years old. We were all practicing our driving skills so that we could pass our road test and earn that coveted card that says that we could drive a car. Now, when I think back to this time, I vividly remember my mom gripping the door handle of the car and stomping on the imaginary brake. I recently asked her why she reacted to my driving this way. And she said, I guess I thought that you weren't physically or mentally ready to drive. While I don't agree with her logic, it does make sense. But what about the people who have mentally and physically deteriorated to the point where they are no longer safe drivers? Their parents aren't around to stomp on the imaginary brake and their children can't bring themselves to take away their parents' keys to freedom. What do we do about this problem? How do we protect these people? One solution would be to have people retake the road test when they reach an age where bodily deterioration begins. This would help ensure the safety of everyone on the road. As we age, our bodies wear down, and this affects our abilities to be safe drivers. According to Minnesota.gov, some common driving-related issues include vision problems, hearing impairments, aching bodies, motor function issues, and cognitive deficiencies. Some common vision issue issues include glaucoma and cataracts. The National Eye Institute says that glaucoma is damage to the optic nerve, which leads to vision loss and blindness. And what happens is fluid flows through the anterior chamber of the eye to nourish the surrounding tissues, and then it exits through an angle where the cornea and the iris meet. If this fluid doesn't drain quickly enough, it increases the pressure in the eye, and this pressure can damage the optic nerve, which causes blindness and inability to see properly. Usually people experience issues with glaucoma around the age of 60. Another common eye-related issue is cataracts, and the NEI states that by the age of 80, more than half of all Americans will have had an issue with cataracts. And a cataract is a clouding of the eye lens, which impairs vision. The eye lens is a, fun a function of the eye that focuses light on the retina, and then the retina takes the light and transfers it into a nerve signal. Over time, protein can build up over the lens of the eye, causing the light to kind of bounce around within the eye instead of focusing on the retina. This leads people to seeing a cloud in their vision and not being able to see properly. And again, this issue also becomes more prevalent around the age of 60. Obviously, vision is an important component to safe driving. If you can't see, you can't drive. A second safe driving component is the ability to hear properly. People need to be able to hear what's going on around them, such as horns honking or sirens blaring, so that they know that something is up and they need to react to it quickly. Age-related hearing loss, or presbyscosis, is a common among older folks. The National Institute on Deafness and Other Communication Disorders says that presbyscosis is a loss of hearing that gradually occurs over time. Exposure to loud noises damages structures within the ear, but there are also other culprits that can lead to hearing loss. In aging people, high blood pressure and diabetes is very common, and some of the medications used to treat these issues is toxic to the sensory cells within the ear. About a third of people between 65 and 74 have hearing issues, and about half of people over the age of 74 have some partial hearing loss. A third health problem is arthritis, and according to WebMD, the most common form of degenerative arthritis is called osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis is associated with the breakdown of cartilage within the joints, and this can happen in any joint of the body. Because of this breakdown of cartilage, people can experience difficulty looking over their shoulders, maneuvering a steering wheel, and applying pressure to the accelerator or the brake. And most people by the age of 60 have some form of osteoarthritis. Fourth, people can develop diseases such as Parkinson's disease. Medline Plus says that Parkinson's disease is a movement disorder caused by low dopamine production within the brain. This can lead to trembling limbs, stiffness, slow movement, and poor coordination. All of these things are essential for safe driving. Parkinson's disease also usually starts around the age of 60. A fifth health problem that can affect driving is Alzheimer's. And Alzheimer's is a form of dementia that causes memory issues, thinking, and behavioral issues. The Alzheimer's Association says that the disease is believed to be caused by brain cells not being able to carry out their functions. And when brain cells can't carry out their jobs, they die off. 
and when they die off, this causes irreversible damage to the brain. This neurological damage could cause drivers to make poor judgments behind the wheel and cause accidents. The majority of Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's sufferers are ages 65 and over, older. All of these issues seriously affect a person's ability to drive safely. In addition to this, elderly people are also more likely to be hurt in any form of car accident just because their bodies are so fragile. The more we can do to protect these people, the better. One way of doing this is we can have older people retake the road test as part of their license renewal process. This will help keep people who should be driving off the roads while relieving their families from the burden of having to disappoint their older loved ones by taking away a driver's license. So far, Illinois is the only state to have at-risk people retake the road test. An article in the Washington Post quotes the Highway Loss Data Institute Vice President, Matt Moore, saying the unique mix of regulations in Illinois appears to reduce crash rates and it seems to do this by getting the riskiest people off the road. The law in Illinois states that at age 75, people must retake the road test and renew their licenses every four years. At the age of 80, it's every two years, and at 87, it's done annually. When comparing data from the Illinois Department of Transportation to data from the Minnesota Department of Public Safety, I found that there were significant, significant differences in senior involvement in car crashes, particularly in the year 2015. In Minnesota, 15% of all crashes included someone who was at least 65 years old. In Illinois, this percentage was 16%. Though the percentage was 1% higher in Illinois than it was in Minnesota, the population of Illinois in 2015 was more than twice the population of Minnesota, which means that fewer seniors were actually involved in car accidents. In conclusion, having older people retake the road test is a great way of making sure that all drivers are still capable of driving. Examiners could look for visual, auditory, motor, and cognitive problems and decide if someone is no longer able to operate a motor vehicle. This would ensure my safety, your safety, and the safety of everyone on the road, and it would hopefully keep people from having to grip the door handles. And now we have our question time. Okay. Yeah. Um, if people throughout their younger years have eye and like auditory problems, would you propose that they have to take the retake test sooner? It would probably make sense to have them do this, maybe have a doctor contact mm -hmm. the DMV or whoever's responsible for the license renewal process and suggest that they retake the road test. Interesting. As far as like what your research like showed or anything, were there any kind of like um, cost sides that went to that? As far as like people having to retake, you know, driver's tests, like as far as people having to schedule for it and people having to give them, what kind of cost benefits or like bad like negatives would go along sure. with that? Um, I know that as far as cost is concerned. Um, People who have discussed this issue have considered just tacking on an extra price to the renewal fee. Um, and then scheduling would probably have to be done a bit more in advance in order to accommodate for all of this and maybe increase the number of examiners. So. Remind me, what was the youngest age that was, or that in Illinois they have uh, citizens retake the test? The youngest age is 75. Okay, and so like not every person has the luxury of being able to retire before their age of 75. What would you propose be done for citizens that are 75 that still have to get to work? Well, I know that in Illinois they address this issue by saying that they have a great public transportation system, and I know that Minnesota is working on ours. So hopefully these, you know, changes within the Minnesota public transportation system would be able to accommodate for people who still need to get to work but can't drive themselves. So in the cases of um, like hearing and seeing like disabilities with that, would that be solved with glasses or hearing aids? Or would it be like without aid, like depending on their like, ability with that would, I, see where, I think I see where you're going, and I think that that would kind of depend on 
which conditions you're living with at the time. Like for a cataract, I mean, you can have the most advanced prescription that you can, but it still won't completely correct the issue. So it kind of just depends on what you're suffering with. Okay, very good. Thank you.